Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna continue working on part 5 of this gas station. Let's get started. So in the last video, we were able to add in our curtain grid. And then we also have, sorry, we also have curtain walls. Uh, so we have, a, we have the windows, we have all the doors. And then now we're gonna continue working on this. Um, for now, I want to include the garage door right here. So let's go to insert load family. And we have doors right here already. So we just need to see where the garage door is. So we need to use this overhead rolling. Click on open and it's better to look at it at the ground cm sorry this is a system family so it needs to be dr instead so dr that's the door and then we could just add this door right here so most of the time we have this um uh this garage right here for the car or for the car wash and most of the time this is touch less now so you have this machine that goes around here you park your cart in the center and then you have this machine that goes around right here i'm gonna see it how it looks and then obviously we need to put down the height so I'm gonna put this one around around 3800 and then the garage door so as you can see it's still too big for that so I'm going to make it 3500 and then we could just leave this one sticking out obviously we have some some parts at the top there so we could just leave it like that to make it nice and then if we want we could insert some mechanical parts so we can go to load family and we could just add some mechanical or architectural side so we have boilers right here so that we could add in the in here inside right now cm on this we could add both and then let's go and add it in air conditioner air terminals furnace uh, and then we have heat distribution centers so we have baseboards we can use that we have furnace so we could put it on the other side so cm we could put it right here so we could basically add multiple components so i want to put in connectors we don't need that general component condenser heat pump tanks i want to those rtu so air conditioned um, condenser i want the, the ones that we put rtus on the top so as a unit we could use this one and then let's put it on the roof cm so we have this one right there to make it look nice we're just playing around we're just adding components on the top of the roof to give it some nice real realisms and we could just leave it like that uh, what I want to do as well is to offset those. So I'm going to select that. 
this a brand new project and then we're just going to offset this from the 200 and I think that's good enough and then you could change different sizes if you want and then we could insert more different kinds and then here you could just change it 21 just to spice it up and then there so at least everything looks nice and of course we have a lot of pumps and then tanks we could add something like this the rooftop so cm we have a tank right here and then we could add more right here because we need it for we need water supplies there for of course for the um car wash machine so after this let's go back to ground i want to add curtain wall to this side so i'm gonna basically add that one here and then go to modify cut geometry and then cut it so you need to select the wall and then the curtain wall after go to 3d and i want to I want to make sure that it's the same height right here and then I'm just going to pull it up a little we don't need it to be floor to ceiling because it's just for views and let's go to architecture and then add curtain grids and I'm just gonna simply snap it in the middle and then snap everything in the middle as well so as you can see it snaps something like that and then put at least 500 at the top and then after that click mullion all grids and then just add it like that and as you can see that looks good i'm happy with that and we're gonna add in some some stuff right here outside i'm thinking of adding some walls right here um we don't need it but let's add it instead um, also, I'm going to add an exit door as well here. Um, I'm thinking of not a double door, but if this is what we only have, that it's fine as well. So I'm just going to select that and then CS and add a door right here. An exit door right there. And um, we could add a curtain wall here a window that's fine go to modify cut geometry then let's look at it and let's add in so here we could just pull it up as well similar to this we don't need it to be so align it and grab same height there and then add in curtain grids first so 500 at the top and then snap it in the midpoint and then after that mullion add in so 
so this is becoming really good um, I'm happy with the way everything looks and the way we were adding everything I believe um, the, the floor for the outside needs to be added in order for you guys to see how it looks um, so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna add in more information um, so I'm going to add so floor edit duplicate this will be floor number two and we will have this one as precast and basically we're going to put it below the ground so height offset negative 200 from the ground so I'm going to have to add this one all the way to A1 up to G8 and we could actually extend it a little bit more because we have some space I want to extend it around 18,000 so I'm gonna put this one right there and move this temporary grid 18,000 so I know it's really big but that's fine and then here I'm going to extend this around 5,000 from here there we go so 5,000 all the way up and let's just leave it like this and then click finish and as you can see it's on top of this so that's our site area at the same time we're going to add another floor uh, I'm gonna put in the grass part of this so what we can do is um, I'm actually going to add the grass and then we're also going to add in some uh, probably a street around it so what I'm gonna do is let's go and click on floor again edit duplicate this will be floor number three and then this one should be grass pull it up like that apply okay and then okay again and then here we shouldn't have any and then now we're going to design this one so I'm gonna use this one so we're going to put this right here so we're going to give it some curves so I'm gonna put like that and then I have this first right here straight and then we're gonna curve this again so we have an exit area for this and we can pull this one a little bit like that so that we could just give it straight or we could just curve it a little bit after that curve it again and we will have some some trees 
in front of this. Add some bushes only. And we could just have this one like that. This will be the exit. So we could connect this one with the shape. Probably like that. And we're just going to give this one some angle and then and then this one we could pull it and give it like that. We could pull this one a little bit more. There we go. It's not perfect. But it's good enough. And then here we could pull this one right here. And then we could pick this. And then trim this out, trim this out. And if we see it, it will look like that. And of course, we're going to add in around here. So don't worry about it. We're going to make sure to add those. So we're going to add the same floor, CS. And we're going to add the exit right here so we need to maintain this and then around here we're just going back and forth that's why we'll see that this is something like that And then pull this and then we're going to put in the garage the garbage area right here so that's why we have something like that and Let's not forget to give this one more space. And to give this all curve. I'm going to put this one as we have sometimes have those flat tires so we could add in some somewhere to fill out our tires and I'm just giving this some good And then here we could just add something like that. Go all around here for sure. All the way right here. And then the sidewalk as well, we need to give it some space. So 
So we're going to give it like this. We're going to add another right there. Something like that. I want my entrance to be right here. So in terms of entrance, this one is around 2000 for sure. Needs to be 2000. but it needs to be from the outside. So we need some space right here. Outside. So we need some space to give it more. Something like that. And then of course we need to curve this What I'm going to do is, I'm going to, for example, just do this right here and then fill this up. Press L on this, press R on this. So that's how easy it is. And then, of course, we need to have this connected. There we go. Take all of this and then TR trim and extend. And then obviously we need something right here in between. This is some an exit, a form of exit as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push this a little bit. And then here, we could just add. So we have an exit here. Because obviously sometimes you need to exit. This one is too far away. So what I usually do is just give it the room that it needs. So it needed this part right here. And then that's where I curve it. And obviously we need to extend this right there. And then now I need to connect them all together. There we go. I think that's good enough. This one, we need to give it a little bit more of a fine tuning. There we go. I think that's good enough. And then we need to edit this one a little bit. 
we need to delete this give this one a nice not too much of an angle I think that's good enough. Not overpowering, but good enough. But you can go around. We could make this nicer. So if we see it, it's starting to form and, uh, and then like I said, we're going to add in something there to go around. And then last, um, we're going to extend this actually. Like I said, we need more room in order for us, our site to look nice. And then we're going to curve this out. Um, like we said, we have a loading um, loading area right here as well. So let's stop here for now and continue on the next video. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.